Let's find the oxidation number here for the sulfur in Na2S4O6. This is sodium tetrathionate. We're going to first look at the average oxidation number for the sulfur, and then we'll look at each individual sulfur here in this sodium tetrathionate. So we don't have a negative or a positive after this whole structure here. Because of that, it's a neutral compound. All the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. We also know that sodium here is in group one. So the sodium, each sodium is going to be plus one. We don't know the sulfur, but oxygen, that's almost always going to be minus two, except when it's bonded to peroxides or the more electronegative fluorine atom there. So the oxygen, each one is minus two. And remember, all of these, when we add them up, they're going to be zero because this is a neutral compound. So let's just set an equation up here. We have one times 2 plus 4x minus the 2 times 6. And that whole thing, that equals 0. So now we just do the math. We have 4x, we have 2 plus the minus 12. So we have a negative 10 equals 0. Subtract 10 from each side, 4x equals 10. And then we'll divide by 4 on each side. We end up with the oxidation state for the sulfur, the average oxidation state for the sulfur here in Na2S4O6 is 10 over 4. You could write that as 5 over 2, or you could convert it to a decimal. That would be 2.5. So the average oxidation state for each sulfur here is 2.5. So it's kind of odd to think of having a fractional oxidation state. But here's why it happens. This is the average, but if we look at each individual sulfur atom, here's what we find. This sulfur right here, it has a sulfur on either side. Same here. Because of that, this will have an oxidation state of zero. If we calculate the oxidation state on this sulfur right here, it's going to end up plus five. Same thing for this one, plus five, because they're the same. If you need help calculating the oxidation state for the sulfur here, there's a link at the end of this video showing you how to do that for this particular sulfur in the tetrathionate ion. The point is, we have an average oxidation state for the sulfur, but because these sulfurs are bonded to different things, they do have individual oxidation states. We have four sulfurs, one, two, three, four, and a total of five plus five is 10. That's where that 10 over four comes from that gives us that 2.5. As the oxidation state for the sulfur here in Na2S4O6. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.